So now let's just connect our board with our system. So in this video we are going to update the firmware first. So let me just connect it over here you can see it's connected and then what we have to do is we have to go on uh, this link mayhem link let me show you the link as well so let me just put it over here so you have to go to this link and download the latest firmware which is version 2.0 and we will download this firmware file right because we are flashing it on a newly uh, hacker f1 so we need a firmware and we we, we will use the command line interface uh, to flash the firmware to this port so that's why we are going to download this firmware after uh, flashing the first firmware uh, we can update the firmware easily using our port pack uh, and there is no need to connect our board again and again with the uh, uh, with our system so when you are flashing the firmware for the first time you have to connect your board uh, well, once the firmware is flashed first time then you can easily uh, use your port pack now uh, to splash all the other firmwares and the latest updated firmwares right so let's just uh, download this i have already downloaded it let me move to my kali machine and i'll do sudo su and uh, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see it clearly and we will go to the directory in which i have downloaded this uh, firmware so over here you can see mayhem firmware so let me go to this directory and over here you will see this firmware uh, this is the firmware port pack so let's just do clear and let's just first do hack rf info and see our board is connected so our board is connected and let's just do hack rf splash spi sorry spi flash and then there is hyphen w and then we have to use the file name which is port pack uh, hyphen h1 underscore h2 and hyphen mayhem dot bin so let's just hit enter and it's writing the firmware so it might take uh, one to two three one to two minutes to write the firmware for the first time so let's just wait And you will not get any uh, success message or anything else you will just get uh, your command line interface back so that means your firmware is written correctly and i'll show you how you can check your firmware in a moment so it's written correctly now what we have to do is we have to reset it one time and then we will go in hack rf info and over here you can see firmware version which is version 2.0 which is the version we downloaded over here you can see right so that means our firmware is uh, uh, flashed correctly in our next video we are going to uh, uh, connect this uh, hack rf1 with our port pack and we will see how to assemble correctly with our port pack thank you